Hey, Christina here. Welcome to my crystal art series. Today I'm going to show you the design process behind my Finding Optimism Through Tides piece. Let's go! So this is my mood board and basically I was looking into the Amazonite stone for this one. So the Amazonite stone has a lot of turquoise and greens and browns as well as oranges and golds within the stone so i really wanted to accentuate those beautiful colors that amazonite has and through my inspiration i was really feeling a lot of nautical vibes pirate vibes going through pirate caves the caribbean sea as well as hurricanes and the rhythm of the lines in a hurricane and as well as the Bermuda Triangle, I was really looking at something very on sea in the Caribbean, going on an adventure, just something very soothing like the ocean. And I was also looking at cliffs and waterfalls. Those really have a nice serene feel to them and it relaxes me and this stone in general is all about going with the flow and soothingness and keeping calm in situations so this is why i always was feeling the sea and what i saw within the stone was a lot about the ocean and just because of the colors it really made me think of the caribbean the richness of the beautiful blues in the ocean there I also kind of dived into rhythmic patterns as well. So looking at the marine radars and the line work that they use on the radars to again looking at the hurricane and its rhythm with its flow as well as waves and their type of movement on the waters and what kind of line work they create. So it was a lot of interesting rhythmic patterns that I wanted to experiment for this and to also bring in some geometric shapes because of this radar thing I had in my mind. So from there, I decided to start and procreate and I wanted to start with building the layout. I really wanted to introduce a geometric shape. So for me, I wanted to bring in a triangle to emphasize the Bermuda Triangle for that Caribbean feel as well as the marine radar for its geometric likeness and the weather radar too was kind of interesting because it still fell into the nautical feel and with this geometric shape being introduced it really brought in a contrasting type of feel against my organic shapes that i usually introduce in the series so i used a black monoline brush tool to set up my composition and to experiment with overlaying the shapes. So that was bringing movement and depth, showcasing what is closer and what is farther away. And next I started to review the colors of Amazonite. So I definitely looked at some pictures and understand what this stone is all about, what kind of textures it has. So through the stone, I saw a lot of wave-like textures and I saw a lot of greens and blues within the stone. So I was really trying to hone into that characteristic that this stone has. And what was really neat is that some of the more natural stones, they had some terracotta and gold in them. So I began to lay out the colors and warm and play with the warm and cool colors. So I wanted more of the warm colors to be closer to uh, the viewers than the cool colors being more in behind in the background. So showing that depth of field. And then next was using the monoline brush tool to bring in rhythmic patterns that was similar to the line gestures in a hurricane and radar again to also give off a marine vibe but also the tides it's very interesting that we see similar shapes in our daily lives that kind of tie into a couple of different things that really make sense right so this was very interesting and this was more geometrical so i decided to keep to this so next i started adding in textures for more interest so i started in with a light brown texture in the orange shape first 
and I used the Dove Lake brush to keep things soft. I didn't really want it to interfere with the wave pattern that was overlaid on top of this piece. So the next thing I was looking at in the orange uh, shape in general was the gold rim that I had along the top of the orange organic shape. So I used a membrane brush to add in some water-like texture for it to be very subtle but hinting of ocean vibes. And for the very top section, the turquoise section at the top, I used a light mint green mix with the spars brush tool to bring in a cave-like rocky texture for some earthy vibes. And I came back in later with the Dove Lake brush again, but hinting in some wave splashes within this organic shape. I thought it would be really interesting to play with some of the edge work on these shapes. So what I did next here was I wanted to remove the black harsh lines around these shapes. So I used the levels adjustment tool to lighten up the lines so that it had a little bit more of a softer look and it wasn't so distracting because I wanted the composition to really speak for itself. I didn't really want these lines to define these shapes. And then I came in with a brown chalk brush to gesture in some areas of wave activity. I thought it was really neat to just throw in something a little playful and a little bit messy. I didn't really want this piece to be super tight. I wanted to keep it very loose and keep it flowing because that was really what we were talking about in this piece, going with the flow and letting things happen. After finishing this piece up, I brought this into Illustrator. I set out my uh, artboard and basically I set it up to 8.5 by 11. I made a rectangle tool and the rectangle I sized it to 4 by 6 inches and I made two of them side by side and I used my line tool to find my center, switched it to a guide so that I can see where the middle is. I merged the two shapes together to make one rectangle. And then next I was adding in the lines in each of the corners of this rectangle to show the crop marks where I'll be cutting to size. And then from there, I started to bring in my artwork. So I placed my artwork on the right side of this card because that was going to be the front and on the back side which is the left side of this rectangle was going to be the back of the card so bringing in my details my logo my name of the card everything on the back once i had everything prepped and ready to go i saved it out as a pdf and i sent it to print once I had it all printed out on a cardstock paper, which is very, very nice paper for cards, I took it to my drafting table to score it. And with my scoring tool, I pretty much made an indent at the top to find where my center is, flipped it on its back so my artwork is facing down, and then I ran the rest of the line indent down the page that made my little dent for my fold line and once my fold line was complete I used my ruler and my exacto knife and I cut it down to size so I lined up everything with my crop marks 
Once I had that all cut down to size, I brought out my bone tool and that helped to clean up my fold line. So I ran it along the side of the card and that cleaned it all up and we are ready to put some finishes on this. My approach to my finishes was for this piece because I had a lot going on, especially with the pattern that I added, that wave pattern, I decided to just go in with a little bit of gold metallic paint, but just highlight the gold line that goes right across the card. And that would just draw your eye into the focal point of these waves. And that's basically it guys that was my process and this piece actually was one of my favorite ones so far i really enjoyed the colors and the kind of story i had behind it in terms of you know going with the flow letting things go let your thoughts and desires or anything that you have on your mind take you on a journey don't overthink it just let everything fall into place at this point and in any complicated situation, again, don't overthink it. Just go with the flow and see how things turn out. And that's basically it. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that you stick around for more of my videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Keep smiling. Bye.